I'd say, you know, I'll start with this defense wins, Mac, wins champion. I was going to say Mac championships because that's what's <laughs> on my mind right now. But they win championships. And I'll even mention, you saw that with the Seattle Seahawks, you know. Peyton Manning, my favorite quarterback of all time, in my opinion. In my opinion, the best one. But look what happened when you face a great defense, you know. And then it's the same with the Macs. You know, I give great respect to Bowling Green for the way they played our offense and the way they played in the, in the championship game. And that, that was a difference maker for them. So, you know, and absolutely, like, you know, everyone loves to watch a great quarterback like Jordan Lynch, Joe Licata, you know, and great running backs like Brandon Oliver, Alex Smith, you know. Those guys are electrifying and fun to see. But I feel like at the end of the day, the team with a great defense is the one that wins, you know, wins a championship. If someone says Maction, what I think of is a, a great trend, to be honest with you. It's something that's, that's very new. You know, I feel like not maybe not a, lot of, not a lot of people know about it. I'm talking about the student body. Student athletes have gotten a grasp of it, but it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of, and I'm, I'm actually excited to, to go ahead and hashtag it myself and try and, you know, try and get, out, get the name out there because I think it's a great idea to try and uh, brand our conference and help people get, get even more excited about the, you know, the Mid-American Conference. I'll say Western Michigan. They had the most welcoming, or, or I guess the most not bad lock away locker room. <laughs> you know, so I thank those guys. Hopefully they can keep it decent. But uh, <laughs> there's some locker rooms that are real bad, you know. But I guess there's not much need to focus on your away locker room, right? <laughs> you know, the bowl game experience was outstanding. You know, up to the game, like you said, you know, we're, we're sure not proud of or, you know, okay, we're satisfactory with, with the outcome. But... You know, that, that six, five, that five days leading up to it was outstanding. You know, once in a lifetime opportunity, and I'll remember it, you know, because it was, it was a good time, and it was like, uh, it, was, it was a long feeling of, of enjoyment and kind of satisfaction with a group of guys that you put so much work into, you know, you know, even playing pool or watching a movie together. You know, it's just a, it's just a long amount of time to really capture the, the season and really be thankful for, you know, how much work you guys put in together and, you know, where it got you. So definitely a good experience. Thanksgiving. <laughs> UB football, baby. <laughs> Go Bulls. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's a, it's a pleasure. You know, that, that's um, those group of guys, you know, we got a brotherhood, so, I, you know, I don't mind it. But usually we, uh, we have a big Thanksgiving dinner. Some of the parents come up, too, with the coaches, too, and, you know, the players, obviously. We do that, I think, uh, I want to say the day before the, the game, usually, you know, I think last time we played on a Friday. There's an Albanian saying that my dad tells me, but I'll, I'll try and capture it generally as much as I can. But um, to to never, uh, uh, it's it's gonna seem very it's gonna seem very generic, but to never spend more than you can afford. In Albanian, it seems a little more clever, but that's but basically, and it's not just about money, but it is about money, but it's about life, and you know to always plan ahead and to always know what you're capable of and to always measure your next step. And I think that's something that it's very general, just you know, very. Uh, Comment to say, but it makes sense when you put it in the bigger picture. <laughs>